Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can solve. Are you facing the same issue where your Wi-Fi is not connecting to the internet when you're working on something very important, and when you open the Wi-Fi setting, your Wi-Fi is not displaying, or your Wi-Fi option just vanishes from your computer? If you're facing any of these problems, then today's video is for you. We are going to see how you can solve the Wi-Fi connection problem and connect to the internet. It's going to be very easy and quick. I'm Brian from Upset Learners, and let's get started. Now, to solve your Wi-Fi connection problem, there are seven ways. First, let's see the basic methods which can solve the Wi-Fi issue. So, let's go to our computer, click on the network icon, and turn on flight mode. Now, wait for ten seconds, then turn off. And make sure your Wi-Fi is turned down. Now check your Wi-Fi connection. So let's click on this Wi-Fi address and click connect. And now we are successfully connected to the internet. Okay, if your Wi-Fi is not connected to the internet, let's go to the next method. Now you can disconnect the Wi-Fi connection and try to connect again. So make sure you know the password for the Wi-Fi connection. Now click disconnect, then right-click on it, then click forget, and the saved password has been deleted. Now let's select the Wi-Fi connection, then click Connect here, and enter the Wi-Fi password. Then click Next. If it is connected to the internet, you're good to go. Okay. Now if your Wi-Fi is still not connecting to the internet, you can check whether your internet source is properly working or not. Before checking the internet source, now first let's check whether our computer Wi-Fi is working or not. So to check it, connect your computer Wi-Fi to a mobile hotspot internet. If you're connected to the internet, This means your computer Wi-Fi is working properly. So now you need to check your internet source. You can try to restart your internet router, then try connecting it to the internet. And also, you can connect your Wi-Fi router internet to your mobile, and check whether your Wi-Fi router is working or not. So these are the basic methods which you can use to solve your Wi-Fi connection problem. Okay, now let's go to the second way, which is to troubleshoot your Wi-Fi adapter. If there are any issues with your Wi-Fi adapter and Windows, troubleshooting can solve your Wi-Fi issues. So to do that. Go to the Windows icon and right-click, and you will get these options. Now click on Network Connections, and you will get this window. Now click Troubleshoot, and it will ask you to select the network adapter. Make sure it is set to All Network Adapters. Now click Next, and it will try to solve the network problems. If there are any issues, you will get a message like this. Now click try these repairs and click apply this fix. Then you will get this message. This means you have successfully done troubleshooting your Wi-Fi adapter. So let's close this window. Now try connecting to the internet. If it is connected, you're good to go. Okay. Now let's go to the third way, which is to do a network reset. If there are any issues with the network setup on your computer, Doing a network reset can solve your internet connection problem. Now to do a network reset, press Windows S on your keyboard, and here enter network reset. Then it will show this option. Now click on it, and you will get this window. Now click reset now, then click yes, and the network reset will be successfully done. Now restart your computer, then try to connect to the internet. Okay. Now let's go to the fourth way. Which is to check your Wi-Fi adapter. So to check it, go to the Windows icon, right-click on it, now select Network Connections, and click Change Adapter Options, and it will show this network adapters on your computer. Here you can see this is a Wi-Fi adapter. Make sure your Wi-Fi adapter is enabled. If it is disabled, enable it. So just right-click on it and select Enable. Once it is enabled. Now try to connect to the internet. If your Wi-Fi is connected to the internet, you're good to go. Okay. If it is not connected, you can try disabling the Wi-Fi adapter and enable it again. So right-click on it and select Disable. Now wait for 10 seconds, then enable it again. And it has been enabled again. Now let's try connecting to the internet. Now the internet is successfully connected. So this is how you can check your Wi-Fi adapter and solve your Wi-Fi issue. Okay. Next, let's go to the fifth way, which is to change the DNS to automatic. If there's any issue with your DNS provider, which is set on your computer, your internet connection may not work properly. 
So changing your DNS to automatic can solve your internet connection problem. Now to change it, right click on the Wi-Fi adapter and select properties. And you will get this window. Now select internet protocol version 4 and click properties. And you will get this DNS settings. Now to change the DNS to automatic, select this option. So let's select it. Now change the DNS to automatic. Select obtain DNS server address automatically. Then click OK. So now we have successfully changed the DNS to automatic. Now try to connect to the internet. If your Wi-Fi is connected, you're good to go. Okay, now let's go to the sixth way, which is to update your Wi-Fi driver. After a Windows update, sometimes your Wi-Fi may not work properly. This can be an issue with your Wi-Fi driver. So to fix it, you can update the Wi-Fi driver to the new version. Now to update it, you need to have an internet connection. So to connect to the internet, you can use a mobile phone and connect it with your mobile USB tethering internet. So let's connect our mobile with our computer. Now open your mobile and go to settings. Now on your settings screen, search for USB tethering. Now click on it and on this screen, enable USB tethering. Once it's enabled, now if you go to a computer, you can see that we have connected with the mobile tethering internet. Once it's connected, now to update your Wi-Fi driver, go to the windows icon. Now right click and select device manager and you will get this window. Here you can find the devices that are connected to your computer. Now click on the arrow near the network adapters and you will get the network adapters. Now check for wireless network adapter. So this is our Wi-Fi adapter. So right click on it. Now select update driver. Then you will get this window. Now to update your Wi-Fi driver, select search automatically for drivers and it will check for a new version of the Wi-Fi driver. Then it will install it. As you can see, the drivers are already updated. So this is how you can update your Wi-Fi driver. Once it's done, you can try to connect to the internet. Okay, if your Wi-Fi is still not connected, you can just download and install the Wi-Fi driver. Because sometimes Windows may not update the Wi-Fi driver or not even have the Wi-Fi driver installed. So to download the Wi-Fi driver, make sure you're connected to the USB tethering internet. Now go to wireless adapter, then right click on it, select properties and you will get this window. Now click details and click device description. Then it will show these options. Now select hardware IDs and you will get the hardware IDs for your Wi-Fi adapter. Now to copy it, just right click on it, then select copy. Once you have copied it, now let's see how you can download the Wi-Fi driver. So let's open our browser. Now paste a Wi-Fi hardware ID on Google search and press enter. Now you can check for downloading the Wi-Fi driver. As you can see, the result matches our Wi-Fi hardware ID. So let's open this link. You can see that we have got the download link. So click download page on your computer model and you will get this page. Now scroll down and click this download icon. Then click on this link. And the Wi-Fi driver will be downloaded to your computer. Now to install it, just click on it and you may get this window. This notification is for security purposes since we are installing a software outside of the Windows Store. Now to install a Wi-Fi driver, click change my app settings and you will get this window. Now click here and select anywhere. Now you can install any software from any provider. Now let's go back to our browser and click on driver. Then you will get this install window. Now keep on clicking next. And then finally click install. Then your Wi-Fi driver will be installed on your computer. So let's click finish. After installing, try connecting to the internet. And now we are successfully connected to the internet. If it's not connected, then you can shut down your computer. And after 2 minutes, turn on your computer. Then try connecting to the internet. Okay, now let's go to the final way, which is to do a network reset using CMD. So to do that, press Windows plus S on your keyboard. Type CMD. Then you will get these options. Now click on Run as Administrator. 
and it will open the command prompt. Once you get this window, now go to the description of this video. You can use this command to do a network reset. Now copy the command, then go to CMD. Now press Ctrl V to paste the command and press enter. If your Wi-Fi is still not connecting to the internet, you can get a Wi-Fi adapter on Amazon which you can connect with your computer, then you can connect to the internet using your new Wi-Fi adapter. So if you want to get a new Wi-Fi adapter, just click the link below this video and it will take you to the Amazon website. Now you can get your Wi-Fi adapter by placing your order here. So we have placed your order for the Wi-Fi adapter. Once you have received your order, this is how the Wi-Fi adapter will look like. Now let's connect it to our laptop. Once you connect it, you can see that your Wi-Fi is working and is connected to the internet. Now if you're having any Bluetooth issues on your PC where your Bluetooth device is not getting connected or it doesn't show available devices, you can watch this video and fix those issues. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.